So here we are at the Counter Terror Expo in Washington, and it's really at places like these where private industry and government come together to find new solutions and ways to combat terrorism. So let's go take a look at what they've got. All right, so first thing we see here is this laser shot. It looks kind of cool, almost like a video game. John, you're from Laser Shot Company. You're based in Texas. What do you got going on? This is a firearms training simulator. It's used for, uh, it's used by military law enforcement uh, personnel for firearms training. This is not a real weapon. Okay. This is a replica weapon. So, so you're not gonna everybody hurt here you. is safe. Yeah, you're not going to hurt That's yourself. That's good. Oh, I think I'm missing everything. No, you're not. You're doing good. I feel like I'm missing. This is not easy. Now look at that. Shoot targets hit 10. No misses. Whoa. 10 for 10. This thing is good. A lot of departments own our equipment. Uh, every branch of the military owns our equipment. A lot of uh, DHS agencies own our equipment. It's good business. It's no secret that defense contracting and coming up with all these new gadgets is really a multi-billion dollar industry. But sometimes you don't think about all the little implications for the fight against terrorism. Things like perimeter protection or over here, the latest in handheld thermal imaging for law enforcement officers. And even something as simple as a power flare can make a difference. One of the more interesting looking sort of contraptions here, sorry, Sean, uh, okay. uh, a Seabotics little, what is it? It's an underwater remotely operated vehicle. I'm glad you said that. And, yeah. and how does this help in the fight against terror? Well, we can put this in the water instead of divers. So you look at Show some me. applications, diving along a reef, for example, more of a research application. Okay, research. Or inspecting military vessels or port security. This looks kind of cool and interesting and has a camera on top. And this is Eric Ivers with... Robotex, yes. Robotex. Right. Um, is this like a really fancy remote control car? It's more like a really fancy remote control tank. The one sentence description of this is you can throw it through a window, drive it upstairs, find the bad guy in the dark and have a conversation with him without going inside the building. Would you like to drive it? Oh, I was dying for you to ask. Are you okay. kidding me? Put your thumb on here, All right. push gently forward till it moves, push, pull gently backwards till it moves, and then push it directly to one side in order to turn I'm coming it. for you. Look out. So we're getting ready to pack things up here in Washington and head back home, but this is just one other example of the way you can see just how big this kind of business is. These private companies selling their wares to governments and law enforcement in the fight against terror. In Washington, I'm Suzanne Kelly, CNN.